Okay, we have a factored rational function. We want to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercept for this function. So hopefully not too bad of a problem here. Remember the x-intercepts are whenever y or f of x equals 0. All right, so I'm thinking, when is the whole function going to equal 0? Well, when we're thinking fractions, if you have 0 divided by something else, it's going to equal 0. So what this boils down to on ours is when is the numerator equal to 0. And since it's factored, hopefully this isn't too bad. You just kind of go one factor at a time and say, what do I need to plug in for this x to make that factor equal 0? And if we plugged in a positive 2, it would make that equal 0. And similarly on this other one, negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 makes 0. So we're going to get x-intercepts at 2 and at 3. All right, as ordered pairs, remember it's 2 was our x value, 0 was our y value. Negative 3 was an x value, 0 was the y value. Okay, as far as the y-intercept goes, at this point I think we know that y-intercepts always occur whenever x equals 0. So we're given a, an x value, or we now have an x value, and we have a function to figure out when that equals 0, or <laughs> we're going to put them together. All right, we're going to put 0 in for each of our x's. So that's going to go as 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 3, all over 0 minus 1, times 0 plus 2, times 0 minus 5. A little bit of reducing down, this will be negative 2 times 3, over negative 1, times 2, times negative 5. So I think we have negative 6 over, we have two negatives in the denominator, so that'll be positive 10, which will work out to be negative 3 fifths. All right, as an ordered pair, that's 0 for an x value, negative 3 fifths for our y value. Hope this helps. Good luck.